We begin tonight with a developing story in Polk County, and it is heartbreaking. A two-year-old was shot and critically injured by her three-year-old brother. The Polk County Sheriff's Office tells us it happened late last night at a residence on Terry Avenue. Right now, Ann on your side, Olivia Steen is joining us tonight, starting us off. So, Olivia, everybody wants to know, how did that three-year-old get the gun? Well, Sheriff Judd says the gun was actually stuffed in a couch in an attempt to hide it from the kids. We're told there were three men watching them while watching a basketball game when they suddenly heard a pop. That the two-year-old female had been shot and was on the couch, and the three-year-old scrambled from the living room running and crying to his bedroom. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd says this man, Cavante Wilson, is the owner of the gun the three-year-old found in between couch cushions. Judd tells us he and the owner of the house, Chad Berrien, rushed the kids to the hospital. But while en route, they crashed into another car here on Olive Street, causing multiple injuries. Authorities say a good Samaritan ended up taking the two children to Lakeland Regional Hospital. Investigators will not be releasing the names of the victims involved. Sheriff Judd says this was an unfortunate accident that could have been avoided. And they're just babies. They, they didn't know they did anything. He didn't know he did anything wrong. He was just playing. They were with his sister, and a tragedy occurred because Cavante didn't rec recognize the need to keep guns away. Sheriff Judd says Wilson, the owner of the gun, was charged with failure to secure, to safely secure a firearm, and then Barry, the owner of the house, was also arrested for four outstanding warrants. Of course, the shooting as well as the crash are still under investigation. Live in Polk County, Olivia Steen, 8 on your side.